Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you had an excellent weekend. We are talking all about my cannot live without powders. Bonus, most of them, almost all of them are very affordable. And I just want you to know that I have about 25 favorite powders. I kid you not, powder is a must in any makeup situation for me because if you use any cream on the face, you are gonna wanna set it with a powder and that way things will stay in place and not move around. I love powder. I take it with me on the go. I douse it all over my face after foundation. I just, I need it. I need it. I feel like it makes my pores look less visible. My lines look less visible. I feel locked in and good about myself when I use powder. Um, I have mainly loose powders, but I do have one pressed option for you guys. When I am on the go, more often than not, I will just take blotting papers with me. But if it's a day where I know I'm gonna be at a shoot, I'm gonna be going from interview to interview or just out and about and I'm not gonna have a chance to go home, I will take some type of oil, diffusing, like it's like you're diffusing a bomb, like diffuse that oil. I will take some type of a heavy duty pressed powder with me, not necessarily to like slap all over the face, but to do a little bit of what I call detail work. By taking a sponge or a smaller tipped brush, you don't always have to go straight for like the huge powder brush when you're powdering on the go. You can just do a little something like this. Grab a little powder. Oh, you're shiny around the nostril area. That way you are just taking the powder where you need it and not layering on makeup that is unnecessary that will lead to the dreaded cake face. The first one I wanna share with you guys that has been a favorite for so, so long. I think this has been in like every video to do with powders. This is like the one that remains. And that is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This is under five bucks. They have so many different shades. It's a beautiful pressed powder that really will set your makeup, get rid of oil. If you have oily skin, girls, this is for you everywhere. If you have combo to dry skin like me, then this is gonna be your friend to get rid of those shinies in the areas where you know oil tends to come to the surface. For me, it's in between the brows, nostrils, right on the chin. And so I still reach for this all the time. I love it. I've gone through so, so many of these. I can't even tell you. It's such a great drugstore powder. Moving on. Do you guys like my red lips, by the way? I have a tutorial on this whole kind of pinup look tomorrow that is going to be my 4th of July look. I have like an ombre blue winged liner going on and I'm gonna break it down for you guys. So if you like this look, you just wait. Tomorrow's video is on its way and it's this. But sometimes it's good to try new things, so yay for that. Okay, we are still at the drugstore, still talking about very affordable things. Also talking about things I've talked a lot about on my channel, but I want you guys to know that if I fall in love with a product, it's going to stay consistent. It's going to be something that, you know, this is like the real deal, what I use, what I love. Um, these two, by the way, I just traveled and these are the two that came with me. This is the Cody Airspun Powder. I hadn't used this one in quite a while, but recently, I don't know, I just started getting the craving to give it a try again. I was really stuck on my Laura Mercier Translucent, which is another favorite, but recently I busted out this one and I love the shade Suntan. It's not very dark, even with my like very, very pale skin. I can still wear this and it just adds a little bit of warmth. It makes my pores look teeny tiny. It sets the makeup beautifully. It doesn't look dry, like even drier skin can use this. And it's just a beautiful, affordable powder that they do sell at the drugstore. Um, they have an unscented version, I believe, that you can order online. That's usually everyone's big gripe. They're like, ooh, it stinks. It smells kind of like very, back in the day, heavy fragrance. It's very fragranced. Woo! I sometimes like it because it kind of takes me back to memory lane. I'm like, oh... One of the first powders I ever used in my life when I was like rummaging through adults, people's makeup that I shouldn't have been playing with. Um, I just, I remember that. The other powder that I mentioned that I've mentioned before, and I promise the next two you guys haven't really seen on my channel, so stay tuned. I do talk about new things. This Laura Mercier translucent powder is very, very similar to the Cody Airspun. It's just a little more finely milled. It's a little bit lighter on the skin. It doesn't look as makeup-y. It looks more natural. It will still set your makeup beautifully and it is translucent. She does carry different shades, but translucent is my favorite. It just works for me and it works for everyone because it is translucent. See through. 
Um, and this is a beautiful one even just to put underneath the eye if you need to set concealer. It's just an all around awesome powder and it's very expensive. So if you have the money and you want to try something like this, it's solid. It's an awesome recommendation. I love this. But if you're on a budget, I just talked about two things that are really amazing as well. This is my newest discovery that is just like, I love this powder so much. I feel like this is like a new brand that I'm going to be talking about a lot. It is called Well People and you can buy this on Birchbox. This line, by the way, is very natural. It's going to be healthy for you. That's their big thing. It's a very natural ingredient based line, whether you are using the mascara, the powder, whatever. This line is awesome. On the bag, it actually says hippie tested, diva approved. And I just think that's really, really cute. So this powder is called the Bio Brightening Powder. It's gonna give you a universal glow, but it's gonna minimize shine. It is totally see-through, translucent, transparent. Um, it doesn't look like anything on the skin. And this applied with a sponge really heavily underneath your eyes, like I will actually take a beauty blender in here and go like this, will just brighten up any area. But if you wanna dust it over the entire face, you can do that as well. It sets makeup beautifully. This is one of those items that I'm really, really excited about. I don't get excited about new products too often that are just like standard, like, oh, it's powder because I have so many favorites. But this one really did stand out to me. It has a scent that is really interesting. It's almost like a clay mask. Like you kind of put it on, you're like, oh, kind of smells like a clay mask going on right here. But to me, I, I feel like there are ingredients in here that are really just helping that shine to be at bay, but also making everything look very glowing and even and smooth. So I love this powder. I just want you guys to know that I go through the same thing sometimes when I'm watching people's videos or I am on Instagram and I see someone rave about a product. Like I will actually go into my phone and like make a note and be like, hmm. I must try that. And this was one of those items that so many makeup artists were like, RCMA powder, RCMA no color powder, it's the best on earth. And this is super affordable. It is more of a pain in the neck to get a hold of because you have to go to a beauty supply or order it online. What did I do in my life before this powder? You get so much of it in here, three ounces of powder and you only need like a tiny little bit. Like, let me show you. Like that's just what's in the lid right here, okay? Let me take a big brush. Can you see? It's amazing. And it just, it sets your makeup, but it also just gives you this very airbrushed, just beautiful finish. And it does not allow your makeup to move. Like your makeup will just be like locked in tight, uh, I love this. It's not as smooth feeling as the Laura Mercier, but it just, it does something to kind of just seal everything in. And if you are going out for the evening, you're going out dancing, you're going out where you're not going to have time to fuss with touching up your makeup, this is an excellent powder. And it's affordable. It's like so affordable. Like the stuff that works the best is super affordable. You don't need to go and spend 50 bucks on a powder. If you're crazy like me and you're obsessed with makeup, then you can and you can buy Laura Mercier. But I have other options here that are super affordable and work fantastically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this start of the week being like a top five must have items. I am going through my collection and I'm still doing color stories and then top five this, that, this. So let me know if you want like top five nude lipsticks. If you want another color collection like navy blue or green, I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments. And again, if you like this whole pinuppy kind of look that I have going on be sure to come back tomorrow and thank you guys for hanging out with me I hope you're having a good one and I will see you next time Mwah.